Hi everyone, this is Tony from Psych Studios and I've um, got a tutorial here for you today that a lot of people ask me about. It's very popular it seems. Uh, generally it's uh, covering how to change brown eyes uh, to a lighter color such as blue. How do you brighten them up so you can change the color and I'm going to show you right now. So as I've explained in previous videos, I generally like to start out in Adobe Bridge in case I need to open it up in Camera Raw any one of those reasons uh, it's good to start with bridge in this case I'm just gonna go ahead and open it right with Photoshop I don't have to do any adjustments to it so we've got a pretty young woman with very dark eyes as you can see so what we're gonna do is go through the process of lightening them so start off with I always recommend you make a copy of your background layer and you can do that by pressing control J uh, or Command J on a Mac. Okay, so now we're on our new layer. Uh, you can rename it or leave it as layer one. It's fine. We're going to go over here and grab the pen tool first. And we're going to zoom in as much as possible, grab the pen tool, and we're just going to start going around it. Now we want to come up here and make sure that the pen tool is set to paths. Okay, so once we start, we're just going to go to the outside corner of the eye, make a mark, come down here, make another one, and we're going to adjust it. You're going to want to hold Alt and click the middle dot. That'll cut it off there. And you're going to come to the end here, adjust it, and again, hold Alt, click up to here, make the adjustments, Alt, click and back to where we began and now we have a fairly good selection around our eye so you're going to want to right click make selection uh, some people like to feather about a pixel or two in this case I'm not going to I'm just going to go ahead and click OK now that makes the selection and it's a very precise selection so I'm going to go down here and add an adjustment layer. I am big on adjustment layers because they're non-destructive. You can change them later and they're great. So we're going to start out with exposure. We need to lighten that up a little bit so I would recommend in this case for exposure we want the value to be 1.43. So I'm going to add that in now 1.43 Okay. We're going to leave the middle section here, the offset, at 0 0.0000. And then the last option we're going to set at 1.72. Alright, now I know that looks a little odd right now, but that's okay. Um, what we've done is just brightened up the eye a little bit. Alright, so now we need to re recreate that selection we just had, and the easiest way to do that is hold control and click on the layer mask for exposure one like so see how it reselects again now we're going to go ahead and add another layer adjustment for hue and saturation okay we're going to click colorize and that's going to color your eye you see it's kind of a, a weird purplish color that's kind of where it starts out now say so we want to go blue so maybe we're going to use the value of 207, saturation of 72, and a lightness of 2. Now I know that looks a little bright and blown out at the moment, but once we adjust the opacity, it's going to seem a lot better. Now I'd recommend, let's go back to our exposure layer, grab a soft brush, that'll do, and basically what we want to do is I've got it about the size I need so we can change the pupil color so you want to make sure on the exposure you have the mask selected we're going to go over here and make sure the color is set to black and you can use your bracket keys or come up here and use the slider to set your brush to the width but we're going to go with about 20 for this particular picture I'm going to hover right over the the iris and I'm just going to click now what, see how that made that just a little darker? Now I'm going to go up here to Hue and Saturation, make sure the mask is selected, and I'm going to do that again. Click. Now what that's done is it's removed the masking just from the iris. So at this point, I would recommend 
that uh, we go ahead and hold control, select the hue and saturation mask, let it reselect again. And this time we're going to add an adjustment layer for levels. Now the values I would recommend for this, and you're going to want to play around with all these values to get it to your liking, but for purposes of this tutorial, we're going to use 8, then we're going to use 72, and let's go with 75, say 0 .0, 0 0.75. And then at the very last value, we're going to go ahead and use say 216. Let's go ahead and click on exposure, and let's go over here and grab our blur tool just a little bit. Let's click on the mask and let's just gently go around the eye just a little bit basically you just want to knock out the weird aurora effect we're going to do the same thing with the hue and saturation just around it just a little bit like that and lastly with the levels same thing just want to over it in alright now what we're going to do is go back to hue and saturation and we're just going to lower that opacity until it looks natural. All right. So taking a look at about 52%, let's back out and take a look and see how that how that looks. Okay, that's looking pretty good, but it's still a little bright. So let's go ahead and back it down just a little. About right there. About 47% looks to be the magic number. So as you can see, now we have a nice brighter eye, which we have now changed to blue. Um, the other one is still brown. You just follow the same process to change that, and that's basically it's all set. Now, if the eyes are not so dark and they're already a lighter color, such as blue or green, you don't have to make as many adjustments you can literally just do the pen tool select the eye usually changes the hue and saturation and that that should be sufficient but for dark eyes like this right here you're really gonna have to mess with the levels and exposure just to brighten the eye a little bit and make it look better okay so that's gonna do it for this tutorial and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and there'll be more coming in the future so thanks for watching guys take care